Hello, Tim O'Kelly here, and I want to talk to you about health, fitness, energy. I have a thought on all of that. Now, before I jump right into that, um, if you don't know me, first time you've ever seen me, I would recommend go up and check my profile video. It gives you my history, why I do what I do, how long I've been doing it, all that good stuff. But I want to jump right into this one. And it's not going to take much of your time, but I want you to think about something. If health is important to you, um, if energy is important to you, um, if being fit is important to you, um, the topic that I want to talk about just for a moment is a topic that I don't think the health and fitness arena take on enough of. Um, and what I want to start with is just a very simple story for you, um, a personal one for me. Um, grew up uh, asthmatic, okay? The, they remember the first time I had an asthmatic incident was I was three months old. And that's when I was diagnosed that you have asthma. So I was raised just like any asthmatic child, which is going and taking shots and getting all the testing and, you know, figure out what they can do. Um, I did not grow it. And so a doctor told me, one that I had been seeing for many years, and I kind of liked the guy. He told me, okay, it, it looks like you're not going to outgrow it. Um, so it's just something you're going to deal with. And, and here's, here's what you can do. Always make sure you have your medicine with you. Um, take this. Seasons change. It's going to be tough when the seasons change because of pollen. It activates it. So he gave me all these medications to cover all of this stuff. And I left there sad. But I also left there going, okay, it's what is. Because this is a professional, right? And, and I, 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 I said, okay. Well, I promise you. Every time the seasons change, I'd have a really hard time breathing. Whenever I would go to sleep over at my friend's house or other friend's house and I realized I didn't bring my inhaler, oh, I was home, honestly, within the next hour because I'd have to start tightening of the chest and I, I, I didn't have medicine. And that was my bringing. Until I got into personal development arena, I heard one man just say something who had been in personal development for a long time. He said he used to suffer from asthma and, and allergies too. And he goes, now I don't. And I remember sitting in the room, I, I was writing something, I looked up, and it just caught me. What I figured out in this journey is the symptoms that showed up for me that were very real. I didn't make them up, but where they came from was fascinating for me. Because I had a perspective, I had a viewpoint, I had a belief that I was asthmatic and that I have to take medicine to control it. That's the paradigm. That's the belief. Found out later on that I could challenge that belief. That I have to have something outside of me. That I have to go take something. And I remember first going, that's not true. No, I mean, I was told by a doctor that and it cannot be true. I remember being challenged and, and I started looking at it more. And looking at it more. And the one thing I realized was... I just didn't believe I could affect it. Nobody had ever told me that before. I'd never been in an arena where people talk like that. I was in the medical arena, doctors. What I have come to find out, long story short, is I, I do have asthma, but I can stop it when it starts. And I never knew I could do that. I never knew that I myself had the tools to do that. And that's what brings me to this idea that any ailment that you're having, whether it's a lack of energy, I mean, you see this right now, and you know, I, and I don't want to put down anybody. That's not my intention here at all. It's just most likely what we know. But have you ever seen people that are t just having a lack of energy? And one thing that they'll often do is run for an energy drink because that's the belief of what works. I don't know if your issue is energy, asthma, overweight, um, cancer, um, autoimmune deficiency, anything that's going on with your body. Here's the message I have. Check what you believe. Go there first. And what you believe, your perspective, is unconscious. We buy into beliefs. I'm not telling you to change them. I'm not. 
I am challenging you to challenge what you do believe about your health, what you do believe you can do about your health. Because here, take a look at this. Have you ever made yourself sick? You know you have stress, right, worry. Doctors will tell you you're making yourself sick by, the, by your thinking. And I think most people can understand that. Like, man, I drove myself into the ground there, you know. Well, we make ourselves sick. Well, then, doesn't it make perfect sense? If you can make yourself sick, you can make yourself well. See, I didn't believe that. I didn't know I could do that. And now I do. Headaches, stomach issues, can we handle them a different way? We're not going to handle them a different way. Please hear this. We're not going to handle them a different way if we still believe that we cannot. If we still believe that it's outside of me. And I'm not telling you a perspective to create. I'm asking you, first step, challenge your perspective. Challenge the way you see it. Challenge what you, about the fitness industry. That, oh, I just cannot do that. Or my body just doesn't do that. Or I, I'm big boned. Or no, I've always been tired. I, it, it, here's one. Uh, it's in my genes. No, it's hereditary. All right, now... I'm not saying right now it's not hereditary. I'm not telling you that. What I'm asking you to do is challenge that belief and, and work on that belief. Could it be just what we believe? And if I believe it's hereditary, then what power do I have? I'm asking, let's take a look at what we have and what we can do with our own body. Even though if, say, they, they ever figure out that it was hereditary, what can we do? instead of just being what I call victim to that, okay? Energy, how can you have energy literally within 15 minutes have incredible energy without doing anything outside of you? That's gonna have to take a shift in belief that I can do that, that I can do that, okay? Well, I travel, when I go do classes, I travel and I leave on most likely Thursdays and I do a class Friday, Saturday, Sunday, come home on Monday. I'll tell you the power of perspective. We cannot, as instructors, we don't get to call in sick. We don't. We don't get to call in and go, man, I'm just whew, not feeling good. There are not any other instructors to do what we do. There's just not. So when I'm scheduled, I've got to be there, right? So here's something fascinating. With that perspective that I've got to be there, guess what? I'm never sick. Now, sometimes a cold, different things like that, but definitely not that's going to keep me from working. I'm good and healthy on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So guess when I do get sick? Yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, guaranteed. If I do, it's gonna be during those three days. Am I setting that up? Of course I am, right? So there's so much power in just really looking at what we believe the way that we think. And all those exercises and all those, that's all good. But I challenge you, just stop for a little bit and question what you believe. Question it. Look at it. Okay? So, there's going to be a lot more on this topic because I think it's a fascinating topic. Okay? So, I want to acknowledge you for just taking the time to listen to this. Really want to acknowledge you for that. And so, until next time, Tim O'Kelly reminding you, challenge your perspective.